are dressed down. <laughs> this is so fantastic. This is great. You look beautiful. Thank so, you. have you seen your brother in the movie yet? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Willow Smith has had some superstar size shoes to fill from the moment she was born, and it's a pressure she's had to carry for most of her young life growing up in the public eye as the daughter of Will and Jada Pinkett Smith. Willow once told Apple Music One's Zane Lowe that she felt a ton of pressure to live up to her parents' sizable successes. But after acting in a few projects as a child and then kicking off a singing career when she was just nine years old, that pressure became too much to handle. These days, Willow is back in the spotlight, having spent a good deal of time determining just who it is she wants to be. In that sense, her newest musical project, 2021's Lately I Feel Everything, is a hard binger of things to come. But do you know what extreme lengths Willow resorted to in order to make Will and Jada understand how she was feeling? If so, drop the answer in the comments down below. Everybody else, stay tuned to find out in our newest episode of Before They Were Famous. Willow Camille Rain Smith came into this world on Halloween night in the year 2000. Born to her parents, world-famous actors Will and Jada Pinkett Smith, Willow lived in Hollywood from her earliest days where she grew up alongside her older brother Jaden Smith and half-brother Trey Smith. Of course, her family name meant that she and her brothers would grow up under a humongous spotlight and one that took them a very long time to learn how to adjust to. Ultimately, the singling out that Willow felt throughout her childhood would result in her having trouble fitting in, be it with kids her own age or even the African American community in general. And we all know how her brother Jaden had trouble with kids, you know, his own age because they didn't want to talk about the economic crisis that the world was facing, which I totally relate to, you know? It's kind of a Smith thing, but you know. More on that later. During an episode of Red Table Talks, the talk show series that Willow hosts with her mother Jada, Willow would reveal that she and her brother felt shunned by the African American community as children for the perception of growing up too weird. Now what exactly is she referring to? Well, it probably has something to do with the sensational headlines the media would produce when either Willow or Jaden would experiment in their gender-bending fashion sense. Willow is of the impression that this expression of style never sat right with more conventional folk and what is usually considered to be black culture. Then there was also the speculation about her sexuality when she was really no older than a kid. With polyamory, I feel like the main foundation is the freedom to be able to create a relationship style that works for you and not just stepping into monogamy because that's what everyone around you says is the right thing to right. do. These kinds of discussions made it more difficult for Willow to come to terms with her own sexual nature before she officially came out as bisexual on the Red Table Talk, stating, I love men and women equally. All in all, there was almost absolutely nothing normal about the childhood of Willow Smith to begin with. And then she went and got involved in the film industry at only seven years old. In 2007, Willow would appear in her very first film alongside her father Will in the movie I Am Legend. Soon after, she was popping up in other films such as Kid Kidridge, An American Girl, and Madagascar Escape to Africa the following year. But after that run of three films, Willow was more or less done as an actress. She even went so as far to turn down a role of Annie in a new version of the classical musical that her father was in the midst of producing. Instead, she chose to focus on something she was more passionate about, music. Her very first single was titled Whip My Hair, and she released it at the age of only nine years old. And boy, oh boy, was this song a moment when it came out. We really are proud of Willow. Yes. And excited. I'm getting my nails done with Boom boxes on them. The song turned into a gigantic hit, not only going platinum, but also reaching the number 11 spot on the Billboard Hot 100. The following year, Willow signed a deal with Jay-Z's Rock Nation and then set off a tour across the entire world as a supporting act for Justin Bieber. It was actually during this world tour that Willow would teach her father a very important lesson about parenting. At the time, Will couldn't have been prouder of the job he was doing with his kids. Here was his barely 10 year old daughter performing alongside one of the biggest acts in the world and selling millions of copies of her own music. He wrote in his autobiography, I was like, I am parenting the sh** out of these kids. I felt like I was doing really, really well. Then, one night, after Willow performed on stage in Dublin, everything changed. Willow finished a song and then, instead of continuing, walked off the stage to find her father and told him, Thank you daddy, I'm finished. At first, Willow had no idea what his father meant, so he proceeded to remind her that she wasn't done performing and that people in the audience were expecting her to go back out there. Willow then asked Will, it doesn't matter to you that I'm done, daddy? Will continued to brush his daughter's comments to the side, then a few days later, Willow came down to the breakfast table with her head totally shaved bald. 
That's when Will realized that he had totally disregarded his own daughter's emotions when she had told him that she was finished singing. Willow would later provide her own perspective on the experience when she revealed on an episode of Red Table Talk that she felt as if Will had been too harsh on her early on in her life, and that this disregard for her emotions would later adversely impact her relationship with him by saying, it was a couple of years, honestly, trying to regain that trust for not feeling like I was being listened to or like no one cared how I felt. These feelings of confusion and despair would also result in Willow attempting to self-harm herself by cutting. Like, I was just listening to a lot of <laughs> dark music and like, it was just so crazy and I was just like plunged into this like black hole. Mm -hmm. And I was like cutting myself. But thankfully, over the years, Willow has been able to reconcile with her parents and discover more about who she wants to be herself. One of the first things that Willow discovered as a teenager is that she always enjoyed punk rock music, even if other people were almost always surprised to find that out about it. I just want to express my desire and my anger at the fact that just people of color and women of color haven't been given the freedom to just be who we want to be. As a teen, Willow fell in love with bands like My Chemical Romance and Blink-182. And while the albums she would create as a teenager with names like Artipithecus, The First, and Willow could all probably be classified as pop adjacent. More recently, she has gotten a chance to dabble in her genre of choice thanks to the release of her 2021 pop punk album, Lately I Feel Everything which even features some classic punk stars like Travis Barker and Avril Lavigne. Produced alongside her romantic partner, Tyler Cole, Willow says that this album is the type of art she's been waiting to make her entire life. And now that she's in her 20s, she finally has total control how things will shape out from this point forward. And of course, with Willow's high-profile snafu at the Oscars this year, Willow's gonna have to deal with the follow from something that she really doesn't involve herself in yet again. But something tells me after an entire life worth of dealing with these types of situations, Willow knows what steps to take next. And I mean, hey, what better way to take your mind off things than by performing in front of a few hundred thousand people at Coachella for the very first time? As for what happens next in the life and times of Willow Smith, well, it's a story for another video. After all, this is before they're famous. Be sure to let us know what you think about Willow's come up in the comments down below. And before you head out, please be sure to like and subscribe and ring that bell for notifications for new drops. My name is Clyde Smith, and I'll see you guys in another episode. In another episode, in another, ugh. It's like I have alopecia or something. Crazy. Don't you bet. Hey, if you made it this far in the video, don't cancel me. Y'all sensitive about alopecia and shit.